hey guys welcome back to my channel and hello again aries so we still have some time in july and this is a mid-july career and money reading so let's turn the camera let's shuffle and then let's throw our cards hopefully you guys are enjoying this beautiful beautiful july 2022 all righty aries so as always perspective is from this point onwards and we're throwing 10 cards to break down elements of a question or a goal into the what why how and when where and with whom so we have a possibility here that suggests justice fairness reward and we also have an idea here a situation that's on our mind that could be taking us some more global so are you in frame yes you are beautiful beautiful okay let's look at the spread and see what we got going Alrighty, the purpose here is an Aries note. The purpose here is building something, is creating something and something that lasts and something that is architectured to your uh, pleasure, can we see? Okay, so, um, okay, two of coins to begin it. Uh, decision, can we see a little bit of a critical decision? It's a grounded element, coins, followed by a king of swords. Okay, so a thought and a decision that you are working on uh can we say determining which direction one of two options and to do that you are relying on a very very factual analytical uh critical thinker king of swords energy kings bring completion guys kings bring um you know what all the finishing touches to information you were seeking to a business plan you're crafting creating etc etc and you are using a king here that suggests to me finance okay so a long-term decision or a decision that could affect things in a long-term fashion and we're looking to get data around it and we are getting the data and working on a business template so it's a three of swords that i have as immediate action note but it's a happy three of swords it's a very very happy three of swords because it's followed by a ten of wands so the enjoyment this is sometimes when you know you've got a solid viable project idea business plan or even a new revenue stream so i can go back and look at the two of coins and say the second coin huh there's two of them second coin could be an additional revenue stream we're studying it meticulously. We're trying to understand how to double income or how to double sales or how to double growth. Something of that nature, Aries, is what I'm um, coming up with so far. Three of Swords is going to be eventually a Four of Swords. What does that mean? It's a business template. It's a high-level business template that you can bank on, that you can show to board members, that you could show to prospect partners, etc., even the bank. And so you've got the um, CFO's mentality here, okay? The CFO is our Queen of Swords, and now they're looking for the best, okay? Business template, business concept, including financials. All righty. You get this energy and you can also say that the king of swords could be an entity an energy a persona that you meet that helps you okay create and formulate that business template and you get a nod to so an engagement with a figure of expertise to some extent aries gets you an early indication that yes the choice you are about to make is the right one and it becomes a really, really nice uh, ten of uh, ten of cards, ten of wands here. Pardon me. Happy Sunday. <laughs> ten of cards, the ten of wands here, which suggests okay, we are ready to take off. Not only that, we are ready to begin the effort of exciting others, the effort of getting people to rally around the business idea. Okay, so the asset that you have available is this ability to get people to rally around an idea because you have explained it because you have gotten early indications that the plan could yield success okay with a little bit of validation here we have an opportunity so the moment you have that early indication here the moment we say okay the concept itself looks good alrighty let's invest into Aries idea all right somebody says that all right we're giving you the green light we'll invest you've motivated them and now you have an opportunity because people sense 
your audience senses the idea is viable okay with the opportunity you have a note here on being flexible it's an element of water the seven of cups suggests there may be other input that you can bring into this opportunity only to make it better other input on your mind it could be another geography altogether a market can we say input from another geography so you're in the northern part of america or canada you're doing business in the south you're in the east you want to do business in the west things of that nature it could even be an idea to take the business in a global format so we have a beautiful outlook on the situation here with the world card four corners to the world and then your purpose also has the number four with the emperor now keeping up with this plan requires stamina that's why we got the asset here as a queen of wands and your timing note suggests launch launch and nourish okay so that's going to be the effort we get as we launch this idea as we take it to market as we get others to rally around it and for each person to really know their role in this business template you are creating here the purpose is authority the purpose is growth and success the possibility is the options get weighed and the possibility is a reward of hard work for aries i like it i like it so now let's put in 10 more cards and let's see what else we're going to say to Aries on this Sunday it's a nice day today it's about uh, 25 26 degrees Celsius in southwestern Ontario or should I say in downtown Stony Creek and I'm just gonna pose to show you guys my t-shirt here this is a beautiful beautiful concept just a kid from Stony Creek the um, Stony Creek Historic Society created these for fundraising stony creek i know i'm diverting now but the city i live in okay where we are here it's where basically the history of canada began as a nation as a country so the battle of stony creek the battle of or the war of 1812 is key to the foundation of le canada all righty all righty so we begin with the high priestess and then the devil oh this is interesting aries i like it the high priestess how do you overcome complacency how do you overcome energy vampires how do you overcome you know what fixed minds that don't want to change that just enjoy the status quo you're being rebellious here but i like how you're going about it la papesa your opportunity is you become a magician you show people light check it out la papesa then the devil okay so it's like aries has a lot of communication to do okay but this communication is not saying go out and tell everybody everything no there's a time and there's a sequence that you're going to follow and i see that here and when you put the proper approvals the proper parties to join along okay in the right sequence that's when you have owned the room you build it up the number seven is popping up here again but i just want to say guys the devil is false fears the devil is false hopes the devil is the definition of complacency in my viewpoint so you're being a leader okay you're going to show people on a need to know basis with the right sequence so you're getting either the approvals from the ground up or you're getting the approvals from the top down okay and there is nothing wrong with that the this is business we are not necessarily talking about a populist movement we're talking about a business advancing okay we're talking about a wheel of fortune where you see okay changes happening and it's a circle and it's interesting because i glance at the wheel of fortune and i recall what was under the wheel of fortune it was the world okay there's a world of opportunities okay for aries to tap into you do that by showing others that the change you are asking your organization to follow to adopt is really in their interest you show them the money you show them the sequence of things one two three sixes huh what's coming after five it's like show them that the change isn't to threaten them the minute you do that you've got people lined up now lining up to approve you get people hearing about the project idea and they are kind of enthused they're not threatened if you will the king of cups is the master of this energy okay come here so and so let me show you that idea let me show you our prospects if we could do this we get that if we could get out of this 
vicious cycle of inactivity at times, we can achieve that. Now, let me guide you and show you how we're going to do that. Let me start from the top down or the bottom up, whichever order that truly makes sense to you and obviously makes sense to the organization. But your guiding note here is La Papesa. Okay, so showing people, trusting people even with uh, what's the word, uh, the minute details needs to happen on a need to know okay so you know your process you know who are gatekeepers you know what represents a hurdle and you know how to overcome them okay and i believe you have all of that here with the magician's energy so the asset available to you once again becomes your ability to bring people close to a decision i like it i like it i like it six of wands here suggests if you follow a particular order it's more like smooth sailing and the more you are in smooth sailing land the more you are becoming a magician showing this company this business this group of people that could become your partners a world of opportunities available to you guys all righty and then the moment we have sequence now we need to formalize commitment so here comes the timing note that says okay if you're about to initiate something you could see the profit potential you have now the support for it formalize it okay it doesn't have to be written in stone but formalize it six of coins is suggesting that we've had some changes We've made up our mind. The magician has convinced you. The high priestess helped him, okay, in finding the best order of who should be signing off. And now we have our six of coins. Let's make that formal. And then let's add on top of that, Aries. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Let's add on top of that another six that says finances are going to be looked at. Prior to that six, it was a five. And that five may have been that devil that we are chopping. Okay. Inefficiencies and waste. Inefficiencies and waste. So look at before we had the emperor the emperor is an amazing business architect they don't want inefficiencies they don't want waste guess what they want to do they want to create that world of opportunity so we end up with the opportunity i i don't want to say that the opportunity to create opportunities no we end up with the opportunity to tap in to win okay to materialize to to translate things that are around you into real business transactions and i love it it's a three of coins towards the end yet there is nothing more fun than knowing that you have a world of opportunities available to you and now you have the authority and the tools in order to capture them to tap into them and at the end of the day you are leading this organization and becoming their magician aries well guys this was our reading which i hope you guys liked let me know what you thought aries and as always you guys should know we do love you madly and bye for now guys